Dearborn. I'm chairman of the Wear Zoning Board of Adjustments. This is the uh, uh, October 10th, 2021 meeting. And this evening we only got one case. Um, just before we start, um, I'd like the board to introduce themselves. Mark Moretti, member. Bobby Joe Plamondon, member. Michael Meyer, member. And these are the four members for this evening's case. Okay, before we start, we need to make sure that uh, your name, please. Uh, my name is Giuseppe Puglisi. I'm representing Greg Hartshorn. Uh, okay. The and you, we don't have any signed authorization? Um, there should be an authorization uh, in there. Um, if not, we can have... Uh, uh, Greg's on the phone. Verbally, uh, I don't think I don't think I saw an uh, authorization. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't copy the whole thing for you. It's, it was just thick. Huh? <laughs> I didn't copy the whole package. No, I meant an authorization. Yeah, no, I'm looking. Uh, I got a I decision to notice. One. No, there's not one in the folder. Okay. Is your friend on the phone? Yes. Uh, yep. Okay. Good. Greg, are you on the phone? You don't have a muted, do you? <laughs> sure, let's, let's do this. Hey, Greg, can you hear me okay? I can. Oh, there you go. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right, we're uh, in the meeting. I have a speaker on the microphone, um, so they'll probably have some questions just in case. But sure. Let me, can you hear the board? I can hear you. Oh, good, thank you. Okay, just wanna make sure we can get it. Okay, let me go through the um, application first. This is property at one, one, excuse me, 140 Old Town Roadway, New Hampshire, 03281 lot. Uh, map 109, lot 33.38 acres, residential zone. I'm going to open this window. Hot. Okay. Uh, list of abutters. There is five points of hardship that have been filled out. There is description proposed. A uh, set of butters, butters list. There's a certified lot plot plan. Is that from you? I saw Sociano. There's a picture of Daniel's Lake. Um, what the hell is this? It's also got septic design. Yeah, we Yeah, it's also a. Exhibit A, a property, it speaks about track one and two and three. There is a warranty deed. Two pages. Uh, apparently there's a prior uh, case from t October 3rd, 2006. Uh, case 1906. It looks like there's a right track design. Would that be you? Very good. And it's a layout showing the proposed garage, the new garage, existing leach field. And that is it. So before we start, uh, I would request a motion to accept the application. Move to accept um, case number, uh, what is it? 16. 16. Two zero two one. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? Okay, none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. At this point, um, any questions of the applicant before we ask, ask him to do the five points of hardship? I don't know. Would you step up to the microphone, please? You can take him with you. Not portable. <laughs> You're uh, portable you today. You have to just speak up so that he can hear you too. Yeah. Um, so I'd we're. Like uh, to, uh, if you want to make some opening remarks, but when you, <clears throat> when you, if you do and you're finished, read the bolded part of the question. Sure. 
read your answer and so that everybody hears it in the room. Absolutely. Um, Greg, if you wanted to um, say anything before we start getting into the sort of the meat of the argument, um, I'm assuming that uh, we'll, we're all welcoming it. <laughs> sure. Great. Right, thank you. Well, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for uh, having me attend uh, via the phone tonight. Um, appreciate uh, you receiving my application and willing to, to hear this. Uh, Joyce and I have owned uh, that house in Ware uh, since 1983. And um, in 1985, I got called into ministry um, where I've spent my entire life. <clears throat> um, was not my plan, but it was God's plan for my life. And so I had to move away and have, have lived away all these years. However, I retire in, in just under three and a half years, and I'm looking forward to being back in my home. Um, and the addition will certainly afford um, care for my, my vehicle in retirement, but also added space to um, welcome my children, who are all kind of in the northeast, um, back east, and I'm, I'm about 10, 10 hours away from them. And they're having grandchildren, and you know we want to have our family meet together at the house. So this will be... Um, kind of the focus of what we, we're talking about tonight. And Very while, good, thank you. While we're on that topic as well, um, I think also while we're here and on record, um, to clarify, the the family is not going to be living at the residence with them, just just visiting. Uh, yeah. That obviously changes a huge part of the scope, so right. they'll just be visiting here and there. Right. You want to stop question one and uh, read it? The bolded part and, the, and, the, and the, uh, your answer? So question one, the variance will not be contrary to the public interest. The answer, the answer that we gave was that the proposed addition does not encroach in the front yard setback due to its substantial distance from the existing roadway, and it does not bring the house any closer to the lake. In addition, it does not make the house any more visible from either of these directions. The new addition does not encroach any closer to the side yard boundaries than the existing structures already do. In reference to this is not part of the answer, but in reference to some of the documents we went over before, the uh, previous uh, variance that was accepted um, for the, actually on the poster, it's the uh, half of the house closest to the, uh, the massing. Um, that one was allowed the variance within the setback. Um, so basically this one is almost kind of continuing that dialogue. Um, and we have some some uh, evidence and, and things like that. And there were some pictures that showcase the different views from the site and, and where and how it yeah, sort of affects the views. But we can get to that. Number two, please. Question two is please describe how the spirit of the ordinance is observed. As stated above, the proposed addition does not change the relationship of this residence with the lake and complies with the required setback at the road. These facts will preserve the character of the neighborhood and the integrity of the adjacent properties. At the northern side yard setback, the new addition does not encroach any closer to the boundary than the existing structure. Question three. Th three. Please describe how substantial justice is done. Go ahead. Sure. The owner's property holds a historical record of being original to the intentions of zoning in an outdated context thereby in stark contrast with the modern practices of zoning and its subsequent allowances. Due to the nature of the parcel, the land is, by modern standards, non-standard, inherently presents issues to site development slash expansion. In addition, allowing the addition will have no impact to the general public as the front and lakeside setbacks remain unaffected. The impact on the two abutters is kept to a minimum by maintaining the existing setback with those properties. Question four, please describe how the values of surrounding properties are not diminished. The primary value of the adjacent property views is in the views of the lake. This addition in no way impacts those views. In fact, is only visible from those houses as they enter their respective driveways. Okay, slide A, please. Absolutely. Question five overarching is literal enforcement of the provisions of the ordinance would result in any unnecessary hardship. Part A, the narrow design of this lot coupled with the shared right of way with the southern neighbor and the recent septic design in 2018 and subsequent relocation of the leach field severely limit the building lot size to accommodate the proposed addition. 
Uh, I, please. Part I is, given the size of many of the lots in the vicinity and the fact that many were developed before the current zoning, the side yard setbacks are not nearly as important to the character of the neighborhood as the front and lakeside setbacks. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. <laughs> to preserve the feel and integrity of the existing property, both for the public and for the abutting neighbors, the setbacks of the existing structures should be maintained in order to accommodate the new addition. Okay. Um, regarding the above uh, bath and bedroom, mm -hmm. is there going to be a passageway on the second story or on going up through the uh, breezeway? Correct. So in terms of the existing house, uh, there's a spiral staircase and obviously for means of egress accessibility any number of things um, that cannot be considered by code uh, to be a reasonable egress so we're going to have to redesign some way to access the second floor uh, and the way we do that is in the middle connecting section mm -hmm. that is where the primary staircase is going to be right near the front um, and on the existing building I've done my site visits and everything, taking my measurements. And on the second story, they have an existing head for where the window is. Basically, we can utilize that. Mm -hmm. um, I've taken the measurements to make sure that the clearances are allowable. We can keep that head in place, use that as the frame for the door. That door connects the existing structure to that one, whether we want to make it a door or just an archway, whatever. Um, we do have the existing structure, so we don't actually have to touch the existing house other than to you know tack the studs up to the wall and then in terms of that we're going to have a sort of a mezzanine in the middle um, I say mezzanine on a grand scale but realistically it's just balcony um, that will connect to the second story of the garage and then allow you to access the downstairs for the garage proper uh, any other questions from the board Giuseppe, please have a seat Absolutely. At this point, uh, I'm going to ask for abutters. Uh, are there any approving abutters who wish to speak? I was kind of, I didn't realize that was a plan. I would like to see that. That's why I'm Well, <laughs> once you do this, come up forwards and state your name, please. I, I'm assuming you're an abutter. Uh -huh. uh, we'll figure out if you're <laughs> approving or not, right? <laughs> uh, the model's right there before you. You can pick it up, yeah. yeah. Sit right up on the chair. You can sit on the chair if you want. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, I am definitely approve of it, but I just was curious. I want to make sure everybody gets a shot at yeah. speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Could you state your name, ma'am? I'm sorry. Elaine Trudell. Okay, and your address? 130, oh my God, 138. Sorry. Old Town Road. <laughs> Thank you. Are you the one with all the Halloween stuff? No, he's right next door. <laughs> okay. I'm looking sure I went by. Okay. Very good. Um, Thank you. You have anything else you want to add? No. Okay. No. Okay, have a seat, please. Uh, any disapproving about us wish to speak? Public at large, other boards? Being none. Giuseppe, would you like to speak again? Rebut anything? Amplify anything? All right, Greg, we're back up on the stand. The good stand, not the attorney stand. <laughs> um, so the other, you know, aspect of, of, you know, and it sounds like we're we're in agreement to an extent. Um, the one thing that I want to do is, you know, I I might be on the younger side, but I do have quite a knowledge. I'm the most senior member at my firm other than the owner. Um, and in that case, you know, the principle of the design, whether it's talking about the, the, the code that it needs to follow, we've already kind of expressed that there's a code violation as ex existing, so we have to change that. But in terms of the site and the specific location, um, that's something that I take very seriously when I look at it and Greg and I have been working closely with our intentions of what the design is going to be, how it's going to function. 
Um, the other thing we wanted to add uh, in terms of uh, more on the engineering side is that the, uh, the new septic that was put in is actually rated um, for, uh, well, three people, um, but the two number are, of bedrooms will fit the size of the system. Exactly. We don't have to necessarily worry mm -hmm. about sort of reinventing the wheel. Um, and in terms of, you know, where the house is now, um, it is set back, and obviously this is going to bring it closer to the, the road. Um, the neighbor on the other side, I mean, the view behind the mass and what you see there is literally a barrier of trees in the back side of a shed. So it's not really a primary view for them either. Um, and to be honest, that area there is wasted. If you're driving by the house, you see the, this big knoll of grass with, you know, just pile, like a pile of dirt, you know. So when you're driving by, I think this has a positive curb appeal to it. Um, of course, it's going to be Greg's retirement home, so there's no uh, idea of reselling. But in terms of the value of the property. The other thing that I wanted to keep in line is when you, when I arrived at the site the first time, you drive up the driveway and you can see the lake straight on. Obviously, if we put that on the right side, that blocks even Greg's view <laughs> of the lake. So we're keeping that corridor open and just kind of accenting it rather than obstructing it um, and, uh, you know, trying to keep the essence of why the site should be used. You know, you have that perfect opportunity to, to see the waterfront. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we get about us, to speak again? This is proving about us. Public at large or the board? None. At this point, I will close down the public hearing, and the board will deliberate and um, request a motion uh, for prong one. To accept. Move to accept for Article One. Second. No, second. Thank you. Conditions or discussion? I think we should just state overtly that this is not approved for an accessory dwelling unit because you didn't ask for one. Uh, if you put a if you put a kitchen in there, it would be considered a accessory dwelling unit. So just make that as a condition on item one. Uh, any other conditions? I don't think there's any required. No. Um, all those in favor? Mark? Aye. Bobby? Aye. Mark? Mike? Aye. <laughs> And uh, uh, four zero. Uh, two, please. Move to accept Article Two. I'll okay. second. Thank you. Discussion. Being none. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Bobby. Aye. Mike. Aye. 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 Four <laughs> zero. Uh, three, please. Move to accept Article Three. Thank you. I'll, I'll second. Thank you, Mark. Discussion. I think just to add that yep. you know. The, the, it is obviously a non-standard lot. Um, there's not a lot of opportunities here, so this it, this does feel like it's doing justice to be able to add the garage to fix some existing issues with the stairway and egress from the second floor. Um, and it doesn't seem unreasonable in any way, in my opinion. I walked up the driveway today and could really see where the there's a bus there and a truck there, and that's where the uh, garage is going to go. So it's really not changing other than anything for the actual use of the property other than putting a shell up where people will be parking their vehicles and now be parking inside the garage. Yeah, I'm aware of the location as well. It doesn't seem to be a problem. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Mark? Aye. Bobby? Aye. Mark? Mike? Aye. Jack? Four zero. And four? Do you accept Article 4? I'll second. Um, discussion? I don't see this being a problem for the adjacent properties. It is quite an enclosed area. Uh, when you drive in there, there's a lot of trees. And uh, it's a, it's, I know there's not many trees, but it looks like a wooded set, setting for the trees along the borders. Not interrupting the view of the lake, too. Right. That's important. No. Okay. All those, uh, all those in favor? Mark? Aye. Bobby? Aye. And Jack? Yes. And my, my uh, 
to me. Mike. Aye. Mike. And five as an entirety. Move to accept Article 5 in its entirety. I will second. Thank you. Discussion? <clears throat> I see this as a reasonable use. Reasonable use. And I would think it would be an unnecessary hardship to this not be granted because it's reasonable to allow a, a house, uh, a dwelling, I should say, or a residence to have a place for storage, such as vehicles. It's not outside the uh, scope of the zoning. I agree. Yeah. Agreed. Nicely done. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Bobby? Aye. Mike? Aye. Jack? 4-0. Uh, you got it. Wait. Uh, you have to have a condition, though. Pardon me? You don't you have to have conditions? I did. I know, but you have a distance condition you didn't talk about. Oh, no, no closer, closer than, than. Yeah, no closer than 10 feet, right? <sighs> right. Well, 10 on the corner, 15 on the other corner, right? Uh, correct, yes. The setback from there is 15, uh, but we currently. Setback's really 25 now per court case, but no closer than 10. So Let's modify the last vote. <laughs> Sorry. Five. So move to accept Article 5 in its entirety amended with the condition that um, no, no part of the structure will be closer than 10 feet from a property line. Will that work for you? That was the plan all along. Okay, good. I will second that. Uh, any further discussion? No. Same as before. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Jack and Mike. Four zero. Sorry. We got it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Giuseppe, good job. Nice nicely done. All right. Thank you, Greg. Thanks everybody. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm. All right, take care. Thanks, Greg. Uh, if you would like to take that out, yeah, you can go in the hallway. Yeah, we, we no. still got to continue. Yeah. On <laughs> That's all right. It may Thank be you. interesting, but not relevant yeah. for the meeting. You're welcome. Oh no, we're not quite done yet. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, you so minutes. I I'm gonna look at this again. I hadn't read it today. I'm not technically, what lot line is this? Like northeast? That would be the north. North. Yeah, it looks like the north. Is it the one, the back side of the house? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's the north. The north side line? That one here? It's. Oh, uh, yes, it shows there's north. Yep, see the north there? Right? So, uh, yep. There's two yeah. north lot lines. Yeah, but they and both say 10 feet, so. Yeah. And this is the one that front that they already got the variance in 2006. Yeah, and they're crossing that one out. So that's what they're. I thought they crossed that one out, didn't they? I don't think they did it. Not on here. Oh, right. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with the minutes, do you? No. Another great job, by Tim. Um, motion to accept the meetings of September 7th. Uh, just one thing. What is uh? You got something? It says uh. Mark Moretti moved to amend his motion for point five. Um, well, it's like what we just did now. Okay, all right. I was just, no, I was there. unclear, yeah. So the, the fifth. Yeah, so the his end. meaning, yeah, I got it. Because we just had to do no closer than 10 Yeah, feet. I'm with you. Gotcha. Do we have a second? I'll second. Discussion? No, all in favor? Aye. 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 Bobby Joe, Mike, and me. That's it. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. To adjourn. To, uh, I'll adjourn. second. <laughs> Thank you.